What's up guys? Welcome to the BC Driven YouTube channel. Today we're going to take a look at some of the things I carry with us when we hit the trails on a razor. Uh, stick around and enjoy the video. So I just want to make a quick video here to show kind of the things we carry and why we carry them. Uh, at the end of this video, I want you guys to jump down in the comments and let me know what I'm missing, uh, anything unique that you carry with you. And before we jump into this, I want to go ahead and apologize for the razor right here. It is just absolutely filthy. Been meaning to get around to washing it, but you know. So I guess we'll just go ahead and start with uh, the things I got in the razor here. Of course, I got the cooler for all my cold beverages. I've got a toolbox from Lowe's back here. This is a cobalt toolbox. I know a lot of people run the rigid boxes and you know, nothing wrong with that. They're probably a lot cleaner, a lot nicer setup than this. I really do intend to move towards the rigid toolbox or you know, one of the stackable guys, but uh, for right now, this thing's been good to me. And it was only like 20 bucks. So so let me get this guy unpacked real quick. And we'll just jump into what I got in here. So we'll just run through this in kind of no particular order. Starting with what I got in the tray. Big pack of zip ties. You know, I got a few of these really heavy zip ties in here. And just a whole pack of the standard zip ties. But got a flashlight. You know, it's just the standard free harbor freight flashlight you know i got a pack of these fender washers in here because one time i was riding i ripped the bolt head through the front fender flare and i just took the bolt back out put one of those washers in it and bolted it back in got some uh super glue and electrical tape kind of first aid more than anything so you're gonna have a healthy stock of plugs I mean, that's about 20 or so maybe i could probably stand to have a few more rubber cement you know, when I put plugs in, I coat them in rubber cement and let it dry. And I got two, uh, two sets of these reamer tools. I have two for a backup or whatever. It's hard to put plugs in without the, one of those reamer tools. So, so like I said, with the tires, uh, I don't carry a spare. And that's one thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, carrying a spare tire, huge inconvenience. We carry tire repair stuff and hope for the best. And there's not a lot of a lot of situations where you're going to get into that you can't get out on the rim uh, we run bead locks anyway so if we get a flat tire we can probably limp our way back out of the woods without carrying a spare you want to be prepared for a lot of different types of tire failures you know the plugs gotta have a way to air it back up so this is one of these little harbor freight compressors super good compressor uh aired up countless tires i couldn't tell you how many tires i've aired up can of fix the flat you know you know that set compressor burns up can't fix a flat that'll air up at least one tire maybe even two and then worst case scenario you get this right here can of starting fluid and I always keep my lighter taped to it uh you know i probably wouldn't advise using it using it taped to it but if you don't keep the lighter taped to the can you'll never have a lighter when you need it so i just keep some extra wire here keep a a piece at least one piece long enough to go from the front of the machine to back in case you i don't i don't know what you would need it for but it's one of those things roll of duct tape never hurts to have this is a big one right here uh go by harbor freight get you a pack of these uh go by harbor sorry forgot the name of it go by harbor freight get you a pack of these hose clamps we went on a ride with my buddy uh, he just bought a brand new 19 turbo and I see him stop behind me So I come back there and sure enough they'll blown a coolant line off because Polaris never put a clamp on it. So luckily I had these uh, I had these I think it was probably one of these that I actually used to uh, put that back on But that got us back on the trails got us back out there and it was really saved the day So that same day I went to Harbor Freight bought me a pack of these so looking right here at the tools You know a lot of guys will carry a an impact and a big elaborate socket set to me i'm not going to be doing that much work on the trails i mean 
I'm pretty much just gonna be trying to get myself out of the woods. If you're gonna want a hammer of some sort, a couple pair of pliers, channel locks are kind of my go-to, then I got the regular slip joint. Needle nose always come in handy. You can always find a use for needle nose. Uh, vice grips, like I said with the brake line, if you blow a brake line, you can clamp it, and that will allow you to use your other three brakes to get you out of there. A uh, big and a small uh, crescent wrench there. A Phillips and a flathead, and then a, a bigger flathead I can use that's kind of like a chisel or to pry with. These are just some of those flip up Torx wrenches. It's all the different size Torx wrenches. Cheater bar for my socket set. Also could be used for like, uh, use those hose clamps and go around a tie rod or something to help get you out of there. And then the socket set. So this socket set is not something I had. I just went out and bought it specifically for the razor. So I didn't want to go out and spend a ton of money and get something super nice because I'm not really planning on using it. But this comes from actually Walmart. I think it's got a 10, 12, 14, 15, 17, and then whatever the standard equivalent of that is. And it's got the cheap ratchet. Hell, actually, I didn't even know it had Torx. This thing's got Torx wrenches in it. So I could actually do away with this one and probably will. Got a little little baby pair of vice grips see it's got three eighths up to a half and then 10 up to 14 and a, a regular box end wrench another little baby crescent wrench it's got a few of these little allen wrenches that you can put in the screwdriver handle so that's good got a spark plug gapper because i, I can't count the number of times i've been on the trails and needed to regap my spark plugs tire pressure gauge that actually you know might be handy but overall, I just wanted a few sockets right here, a few wrenches, uh, just kind of a little socket set. And I found this one at Walmart for like 10 bucks. So probably the biggest reason I carry tools and stuff on the trail is not necessarily for like tools, like wrenching on stuff, but it's more of like recovery. So uh, I got this guy, I think at Ross for like 10 or 12 bucks. It's a really good machete. Uh, it's got that duckbill hook on it. So whenever you're cutting stuff, it really bites. It's got a saw. I've never tried to saw anything with it. I imagine it'd be pretty terrible, but so gotta have a machete. This little shovel thing, uh, I don't know. I did use it one time, but I don't know that it'd actually be, be all that useful in the trails. But these little survival shovels, my papa used to always have them in the truck for digging out tires and stuff when it gets stuck. So I would always thought it was neat to have one. So this strap here is a two inch six foot strap 6400 pounds straight line so this one right here is that was actually my go-to i use i've used this one several times as a tree strap just to kind of give you something to hook to uh, with tree straps you obviously you want a clevis clevises another thing you can do with a tree strap and a couple clevises is you can use a snatch block uh, i got this one at tractor supply it was on sale you know, it's 10,000 10, pounds straight line. So one thing to consider when using a snatch block, the reason you use a snatch block is uh, it pretty much doubles the capacity of your winch, but you gotta make sure you get a snatch block that's rated for double the capacity of your winch. So we got a 4,500 pound winch, that's 9,000 pounds. This thing should be able to handle it, no problem. And this one's really nice because you just flip it open, slide your winch rope in there, flip it back and you're good to go tree strap couple clevises snatch block that's that's a combination that i think every if you have a winch i think you should have at least those four items right there this is a 20 foot it's actually another lifting sling but it's a 20 foot strap so this is just the winch rope that was on a razor when we got it we upgraded to a little bit better rope that's a good 50 foot extension i've got 50 foot of cable on the machine i got 20 foot of strap the thing with getting stuck is it's never convenient, right? There's, it, you got to always plan for it to be the most inconvenient place possible. And to me, that is, you know, flat ground with no trees around for a long way. So just having enough rope to reach out and grab something is very, very important. Another thing I carry is four ratchet straps. Say you lose an A-arm or wheel bearing or something on the front end, you can take a log and ratchet strap it to the machine. That's why I got four, you know, you could use two up front, two around the belly, whatever, and use that log as a skid to get you out of the wood. So 
countless uses for ratchet straps. I'm gonna carry some other things right here in the glove box, so let me grab those out and I'll show you those real quick and we'll wrap this thing up. So like I said, these last few items are all things I keep in the glove box. Keep some bug spray, don't really need it this time of year. Uh, window cleaning stuff, my winch controller, first aid kit, and, you know, this one's a pretty small kit. So you're gonna want medical tape. We got, there's a lot of gauze. I'm gonna try not to unpack this because it's, it's a lot to fit in here, but there's a lot of gauze in the bottom of this. I have the rest of this stuff, alcohol pads, uh, band, regular band-aids, butterfly closures. The good thing about one like this is obviously that it's so small, it don't take up a lot of room in your glove box but uh, I would 100% recommend everybody get some form of a first aid kit. Another thing that's gonna leave you stranded, a belt. I, we, for the longest time, did not carry a spare belt, and every single ride, it was in the back of my mind, hey, if we lose a belt in this situation, we are stranded. There is no getting us out of here without a belt. So, went ahead and sucked it up, bought one, and then the factory toolkit, and clutch tool. You'd be shocked at the number of people that don't actually keep this with them. Hey. She rolled over. She rolled over? From her tummy to her back. Really? Yeah, Sorry about that little dad brag here. My daughter just rolled over for the first time, so getting there. She'll be walking and talking and uh, hating our guts before too long. So I'm gonna get all this stuff packed up. Really appreciate you checking out the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Drop a comment down below, let me know what I'm missing, you know. Consider hitting the subscribe button to see other videos like this. And I'll see you on the next one.